いやいやどうもあほらさっ Not next time before you enter! Did you see anything? No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Good! Anyway, Super Strider here, and I'm about to do a new video game review. As you can probably tell, I'm a major Sonic the Hedgehog fan. And you didn't see anything before this. <laughs> I'm also a major fighting game enthusiast. I'm a fan of the Street Fighter series as well as as well as the King of Fighters, Guilty Gear. Basically most of them are either anything that Capcom or SNK has created. Well, I also do like the Tekken series, although I'm not really as good at those. Anyway, today I'm about to talk to you about a Sonic fighting game I've been playing. And I know what you guys are thinking. Probably the first thing that comes to your head would be the arcade classic, or well, the arcade game, I don't think it would be considered a classic, Sonic the Fighters. Yeah, Sonic the Fighters was, was re-released on the Sonic Gems collection for the GameCube. And uh, it basically it's the port from the arcade version. I'm not going to go into that because uh, basically it's, it's one of those games that most people don't like. I myself, even though I do like Sonic, I like to play a lot of Sonic games as well as fighting games and stuff, even I myself... And uh, I do like playing it every now and again, but I wouldn't recommend it. The game is silly. It's easy to spam moves. And basically, Metal Sonic will rape you every single time. But today, this, is, this review is not going to be about Sonic the Fighters. No, it's another, about another fighting game, another Sonic fighting game, that was, recent, that was released within the past few years, and I've been playing for about, maybe about two years now, on the PC, titled Freedom Fighters 2. As you can probably tell, this is a Mugen title, and I'm basically breaking format with normal review when it comes to video game reviews, where you actually, when most reviewers actually focus on real games. But this, even though this is just a fan game, it's something you should really look into. It's a, it's a really fun and addictive fighting game, extremely well balanced too. The creator, Mugen Hunter spent a long time to fully animating each and every character sprite, designing several of the backgrounds, setting up all the special moves, and basically setting up all the characters. And there's quite... As you can see, there's a total of 20 different characters that are selectable on the character select screen as opposed to uh, the original Sonic the Fighters, which only had eight playable characters. Mugen Hunter is no stranger to this. He, this is actually a sweet sequel to, the pre, to another Mugen game that he made titled Freedom Fighters. However, Freedom Fighters 2 is far superior. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's get on to viewing some of the gameplay. As you can see, it's your standard fighter. You have a super bar, you have your health gauge, 
you use a bunch of s techniques similar to like Street Fighter-ish moves. Most of the moves that you can use in this game are standard fighting game motion moves in homage to Street Fighter, which just mainly defined the genre. There's the standard Hadouken motion, the quarter circle, some charge moves, and the standard Shoryuken motion. Then the, then the actual super moves and the ultras. Some of them use double Hadouken motions like most Street Fighter games, while others, actually this makes me think more of the King of Fighters since there are, there are super moves that require you to do quarter circles and half circles. And each and every character has a, a wide variety of techniques that they can use. To do a super move, you must have at least one full gauge, and then use the motion as well as one, either one punch or kick button, depending on the super. Ultras are different in that they use two gauges instead of one and require you to press both punches or both kicks, depending on the motion. To sidestep your opponent and dodge projectiles, you must press the both light punch and light kick as well as the direction. You can taunt your opponent by pressing start. This charges your super gauge a little bit also. Now I mentioned that almost all these characters, the, all the characters are balanced, save for two. There are two characters in this game that would be considered broken. And most people would think for a Mugen game, you kind of expect that, considering that most Mugen fan, fan games usually just indulge in the outlandish and creating characters that were that are basically godly and unkillable and undefeatable. But Mugen Hunter actually made most of his characters pretty well balanced against each other, except for these two. Shin Fang and Big. For Shin Fang, it kind of makes sense why he's overpowered. He's the game's boss character. And uh, basically his attack, defense, and speed have basically been cranked up. He does a lot of damage, takes very, can take a lot of damage, and is extremely fast. But on, on the, his own, with just those stats alone, he's still beatable. Except for one thing. There is one move that Shin Fang can do that if he spams you, if someone spams this move, there is nothing you can do about it. Because of its priority and the fact that you can't, it's a technique you can't jump over clearly. It does a lot of chip damage. And basically is used to pin down an opponent. See what I mean? For Big, well, he's the largest character in the game. He lives up to his namesake, basically, as being, well, Big. He has a high attack and high defense, and a lot of health. And most of his attacks have a pretty high priority. Sure, he doesn't have moves that it can be basically abused like Shin Fang can, like Shin Fang does. But still, playing someone, someone who plays this guy, he can take out your opponent's team without even losing a single match. And the fact of the matter is that Big can soak up a lot of damage, takes very little chip damage, and his attacks do a lot of... just hurt a lot. And... then there's his Ultra. To qualify this move, I would think the equivalent to an actual fighting game would be uh, Akuma's Shun Goku Satsu, the Raging Demon. 
where it's an extremely powerful move, does a lot of damage, is unblockable, and is usually used as a humiliation move. Overall, though, this Mugen game is rather fun. It's a shame that it can be it can't be found normally on the internet anymore. Most of the site I downloaded my copy from, or my version from, no longer exists. But I'm going to help you, my internet fans. In the comments for this video, I will upload my version of the Freedom Fighters 2 with my custom like bars as well as the music the soundtrack I've added with all the basic stages that it comes with onto Mega Upload and I'll post the download link in the comments for this video. It's set up and ready to go for you to play it. Of course, if you plan on using a joystick, my configuration requires the use of this which allows me to plug a PS2 controller or a series of PS2 controllers into a USB port. But you can but it's joypad compatible. And most standard uh, fighting game enthusiasts probably have some arcade sticks, style sticks that they'll just use on their computers. It's a game that I suggest you check out. There is one mi other minor nitpick that for me, it does not bother me at all. But my one of my friends, who's another fighting game enthusiast, brought this to my attention. In this game, or in this fighting game, there are no standard grab moves. The few in fact, the few characters who can grab, you have to use command throws. There are no throws in this game. I myself normally don't use throws, so I never really notice the problem. It's just that, it's just as my friend put it, he can basically turtle up and take almost, uh, the opponent can basically turtle up, just keep defending, taking almost no damage, and there's nothing you can do about it. I really haven't ran into, run into that problem myself, because normally I don't throw in fighting games. But don't let that scare you away. I suggest you still download and play this. It is really fun. And it's actually been quite a hit at my college when we play this in the game room. Anyway. That's my input of Freedom Fighters 2. Till next time. I'll see you around. Sonic, he can really move Sonic, he's got an attitude Sonic, he